What's up guys, my name is Running Fat Pig with another episode of uh, The Wolf Among Us. I think we have two episodes so far. I'm uh, quickly gonna say sorry for the for the last episode, or the first episode, it was cropped really weird. I couldn't do anything about it. But uh, the other ones are fine. I found out how to fix all that. And now we are going to who was it? Uh, Prince Lawrence, the husband of Faith. To see what has happened. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big, big, <laughs> listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh, this is a hard one. Shit, shit, shit. I might go to Toad first because I have messed up a lot to for him, so. And then, I don't know, it's me. this Toad. might not be such a good idea. Big, big, shit, listen, right? That's a bl Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Okay, I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Alright, I don't know. I think this might have been one of those crazy decisions, like from, uh... And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Wait here. Yeah, probably best not to have said anything. I'm sorry! That's enough, all right? Just shut it! <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. Alright, I think... I'm, uh... Have to go down to Toad and... Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's Something going on? Really what do you mean? suspicious right now. Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. 
I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Well, two things. Plug in that's Lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Huh. Something's totally going on with the toad. I should probably get that thing fixed. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. You bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh? Oh, well, I cut me hand. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. here on the poker yeah what happened oh well that's that's how it happened didn't it oh, i was i was poking the coals and it slipped a bit sliced up in my foot like a seashell but like a shit ugly thing if you're gonna say something out with it wait you dropped it on your foot you told me before that you cut your hand yeah no i, I did cut my hand I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- You're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see.
is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know, man. You heard, uh, the new, uh, Shaking Stevens album yet? There's a lot of... Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? I thought you wouldn't need keys. Since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. He really doesn't want me to find out more. But I'm gonna investigate. Cause I'm a wolf. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Alright, alright. Time to get a bit... Rough with Toad. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. <coughs> Sorry about the cough, I'm uh... Toad? I, I think know I'm you're getting lying about the sick. door. Fucking hell, Big B, I forgot my keys. Can't a grown frog just forget his latch for a bit? This wood might have rotted, but it just made the kicking it in part easier. I know you, Toad. You'd sleep in your smashed up car's glove box before you think to climb in the fucking window. What is it? I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Can't we just start over? Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B, I... It even has the faintest whiff of bullshit. I'm gonna... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. It's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, 
If he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I feel bad. <laughs> I didn't think, like, at first Toad seemed really suspicious, but it wasn't literally his fault. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. He'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Let's just keep our focus on questioning Lawrence. Where she was, who she was with, that sort of thing. Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. Can you hear me? I guess you can't hear me. Get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with no. you. No! No. Let me go. She. <laughs> what is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Go to the kitchen. If you have 
something to ask him. You should do it now. Who did this to you? <laughs> Faith. Wait, what? But she, she like... I knew it. I knew she was going to say... I mean, I knew Hugh was going to say Faith. But... Um... But... How? Do you still have that letter? Yes. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. Well, I don't know if... This is crazy. <laughs> Alright. I think... I think I'm gonna st uh, stop it here for now. I don't know how long this is going, but I'm gonna stop it here and... Uh... I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please leave a like, comment, and uh, show your support for this series because that really helps me a lot and motivates me to put out more episodes as soon as I can. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.